Hi guys, it's Sophia. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing kind of like a different and fun kind of video. So I recently just got the new iPhone 11. So I have had the iPhone 7 for like three years now for a while. So, you know, I kind of was like, I really need an upgrade. So I decided to get the new iPhone and it's right here. Actually, I have it in like this clear case right now, but um, so I was like looking through the phone and everything and it said that it has like 4k shooting and it's like a really nice camera um, So I was like I kind of want to put it to the test to see like if one day I don't have my vlogging camera or something like I can just use my phone and see what the quality is like so for today's video I'm gonna be vlogging on my iPhone 11 so transitioning from an iPhone 7 to an iPhone 11 it was a little difficult for me because everything was kind of like switched up like screenshotting is different the notification and the like where you see all your um, things right here are in different spots and it's like you got to do like that to like to see your recent apps and stuff so you know it, it was a big change for me but I honestly love this phone and it's like bigger way bigger than my iPhone 7 and I really like it because I can like do a lot more and like see a lot more yeah this is gonna be exciting I'm gonna be going grocery shopping and like getting some errands done so you know we have some stuff to do and we have like places to move and I'm really like wondering how the image stability is on this camera because on the G7X on you guys right now it is like fantastic like this camera is amazing for vlogging and taking it everywhere with me I brought it like all over the world with me this camera so we're gonna put it to the test yeah all right we're gonna switch over to this camera now all right guys so how are we feeling about this camera I this is hard because I can't see like what I'm filming because right now this is on the back of the camera so we're kind of like an inside you know environment and um yeah so I'm going to go get ready because I'm gonna go do some grocery shopping so let's do that all right so this is the outfit that I'm wearing so I'm just wearing this lace up little sweater it's really cute I think it's from forever 21 and then these are my boyfriend jeans from garage so we're keeping it pretty casual, pretty simple, and I just put some rose water spray on my face, so it's kind of a little shiny. All right, guys, so we are in the produce section, and I need to get some avocados. Faster. I just need two. These are, if you guys watch my What I Eat In A Day, these are my favorite popcorn chicken. We're gonna have some of that. All right guys, so I'm trying to make a um, fajita recipe, which I tried at my friend John's house. And I'm like getting all of the um, ingredients for it right now. And I'll leave like the ingredients list that he sent me for, because it was so good. So I think I'm gonna try making that. So first thing I have is uh, chicken breasts and I need to get some seasoning that we don't already have at the house. These two. We also need to find some lime juice. Which I need to find out with cilantro. I'm just gonna get a pack of them because I'm a fake cook. Three 
<laughs> Hi guys, so I am home now. So I thought I would do like a little um, grocery haul of the stuff that I got today. So yeah, we're gonna get started. But before I put everything away, I wanted to show you guys what I got. So we're gonna get started with all this stuff that I just picked up today. So I wanted to try some new recipes. So I had to get some new things. I'm not really sure if we had, I think I had paprika. Oh, I did. Okay, see, I had paprika already, but I didn't know, so whatever. <laughs> um, ground cumin. Uh, I also got some corn, some cilantro. Um, I really wanted, I saw this, um, green curry and if you guys watch my thailand vlogs you guys know that i like that was the first time i tried curry and i loved it and that's like the last time i really had it and this was the only one that i found the great value brand which i was kind of confused about because in the whole entire aisle of like condiments and sauces and stuff there was no other green curry like brand so yeah we'll see how that is and then i got this teriyaki stir fry one which i could just use to marinate chicken or anything like that then i got some elios this is my favorite um pizza and guys i'm still a college student so you know then we got some mozzarella sticks these are the farm ridge breaded mozzarella sticks this is like the party size then you guys know this is my favorite popcorn chicken it's just from purdue um, I also got some shrimp and this is the medium peeled ones and I'm just gonna have some like grilled shrimp also have some jasmine rice so we got that and then I got this cheese it <laughs> sharp cheddar and parmesan just for a snack and then I got this pineapple juice so for this one recipe that it's like these fajita chicken breasts you need pineapple juice with it and then I got some limes um, avocados you guys know i have these for breakfast and i got some tomatoes because i'm gonna make some salsa and we have some chicken breasts so that's what we picked up from the groceries um not really anything crazy but i didn't really want to get too many fresh um ingredients and fresh groceries because i might be going home um next week or this weekend and i didn't want things going to waste or going bad so i just got these things so yeah i'm really excited to try this green curry like i just am thinking of thailand and vietnam and i just ate curry like 24 7 that was like the, you could ask my sister that's literally all i ate after i tried it for the first time so good so yep that's our grocery anyway, this is on like the 0.5 the wide angle view um, for the iPhone 11, so it's really cool. So right now I'm going to be making some of the fajitas that I wanted to try. So these are all the ingredients you need. Basically, we're just gonna put it all together in like a Ziploc bag or a container and then let it sit and marinate for like an hour and then we can cook it. But I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna like prep everything. So these are all of the ingredients you need. Um, so as you guys saw in the grocery haul, some of the stuff I picked up. I'm gonna leave all of the ingredients down below. So you're gonna need some ground cumin, paprika, cilantro, uh, chicken breasts. These are some limes, fresh garlic, or whatever kind of garlic, um, pineapple juice, olive oil, soy sauce, um, black pepper, uh, any salt, it doesn't have to be pink Himalayan salt, and then um, red pepper flakes. So we're going to basically put all of these together and then marinate the chicken, and then that's all we're gonna do. Um, all the measurements are going to be down below, but I'm going to do all of that and then I will see you guys in a little bit. So the recipe is two to three limes. I cut up three limes. So it has a fourth cup of pineapple juice and then I'm going to get some tablespoons of soy sauce. And basically I'm going to put all of those into this container and then kind of like make the marinade. So let's do that. Hello guys, so I just realized I didn't end the vlog of, or this video of me using my iPhone as a vlogging camera. So honestly, it was fun and it was pretty easy and I felt like it was a lot more convenient to vlog on my, like my actual phone because I just always had it with me and like it was just like filming stuff. But I have to say I still prefer my 
Canon G7X. Maybe because I feel like the the image stabilization is a lot better on this camera, and I feel like I'm not like completely shaking all over the place when I'm using this camera. So you know, obviously I'm not going to be switching over to my iPhone, but the quality is really nice still. And it's like if I ever forget my camera, I know that my iPhone can be a good substitute for it if I don't have my camera with me. So that's a plus. Um, yeah, and also like I like how I can see myself and know exactly what I'm filming so I know that I'm in frame. Yeah, I'm looking at myself a lot of the time at the actual like screen and not actually at you guys but it helps me kind of visualize what I'm actually filming so I honestly prefer that a lot better. So, you know, it was a good... It was fun filming on this and something that, you know, I can use for if I ever need it and accidentally leave it. But yeah, so that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and make sure to give this vid- blah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!